Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I am talking about what kind of equipment I use to record my videos. And I'm doing this video because I usually get questions from people asking me what kind of equipment I'm using when I'm recording my video or when I'm doing a, a specific activity. And this video was suggested from one of my subscribers. His name is Vernon Edmond. So thank you very much, Vernon, and here is the video. And the first equipment that we are gonna talk about is the DJI Packet 2. And this is a mini handheld camera. And this is great when you are out vlogging and when you are gonna be, no cost too much attention. And this is one of the reasons that we got this camera. We just got this camera recently and we started just using it. But we, uh, we got it because when we out vlogging, for different reasons, reasons we don't want to catch attention one is because sometimes people don't want to be uh they kind of act funny when they know that you're recording sometimes you go to the store you don't they don't want you to record some of the times because you don't want to catch attention from people see you with a camera and then they snap it out of your hands so for all those reasons we decide to buy this camera so let me tell you a little bit about this camera uh just to give an example this camera have great quality and just an example the last video that I did with Margaret at the beach, it was recorded with this camera. You see that the quality was pretty much as the same as my other videos. And this, uh, that video was recorded with this camera, which I love this camera because, like I say, it's very discreet and people don't notice it when you're using out. And like I say, this little camera is great for vlogging. You see how small it is. Now we're gonna turn it on and you turn it on right in this button they have right here on the side. And what is great about this camera is they have a display where it shows your face right there. And immediately when you turn it on, it's gonna start facing you. So if you're gonna start vlogging, you just start uh, recording and you touch here to start recording. And then if you just wanna be talking, but then also facing you surrounded or in front of you, you will touch this button three times and you have to do it fast. Sometimes it's difficult for me with these nails that I need to cut it off but you touch this button three times and the camera immediately will turn around. Let's try it. You see, it turned around to start recording that way. And if you wanna turn around, face it back to you, then do the same thing three times. And this camera comes with the audio and the quality of the audio is good. But when we are out vlogging and especially here, there's sometimes wind blowing very hard, we decided to buy some extra accessory. For example, we got this uh, wireless uh, mic that you have to buy that separately. It comes with a windscreen. They look like, a, well, this look like a brush, a makeup brush. My daughter called it the makeup brush, but this is a separate um, mic. So, and to use this mic, you will have to buy this all-in-one handle. So you have to buy these two together to be able to attach it to the camera. And let me show you how you add the, the all-in-one handle to the camera. So I'm gonna show you how to attach that part to the camera. And the first thing that you need to do, you need to remove the bottom part. Sometimes it's a little difficult for me because I have long nails, but we're gonna make it work. And you remove that part and then you wanna add this part, you wanna make sure that part is right in front of the camera. So then you have to sync these two together and then it will be ready to use the mic. So I'ma turn it on and here is attached. And then you will be able to use your mic. So how do you know if the mic is synced to the camera? Well, you just have to turn the mic on, you will turn it on right here. As you can see, it doesn't show anything about mic and immediately when we turn it on, it will show the mic up here. So we turn it on, you see the green button came up and the mic sign just show up in the camera. So now the best question is, you are asking yourself how much this camera costs? Well, the camera itself was $400 and each piece of this equipment was 99, so pretty much $600. So there you have it, you can have this very efficient camera for $600. And the quality of the camera is really good. So let's move on to the next equipment. And the next equipment that I'm talking about is this Canon G7X. And this was the first camera that I, that I bought. I started recording or making videos with my phone. If you, can, if you go to some of my first videos, you will see the difference. I can't even watch it myself because I start laughing. I don't know if it to laugh or cry. But those are, was my first videos. 
and I started with my phone and then this was the first camera that we bought and it's still good we still use this camera the quality is good but the bad thing about this camera is that you cannot add a external mic so when you are out and you are vlogging it's a part of the hotel so you can if you are sitting in the hotel you can hear all the echo sound and it captures all the sounds so you cannot add external mic to it so that is why this camera in that aspect it's not that great but we are still using that camera like when we are in the house we are recording and it's not a lot of noisy or external noise from outside we use this camera at the moment when we bought this camera was about 400 dollars and that was about two years ago and here are two let me show you these are two separate charges they don't come with it, you have to buy them separately. Each of them is about less than $100. And the battery, you have to buy separately too. And the battery is about between $10 to $20 a piece. So here you have this camera and what you need to use this camera. So the next piece of equipment that I'm gonna show you is this external mic. Uh, we bought, this was the first mic that we bought to use it with the camera that I'm gonna show you at the end because I'm using that camera right now uh, but we bought this mic to use it with that camera but we don't use this mic anymore because we bought some other mic that are smaller and that are a uh, wireless and also the quality of this mic is not really good unless that you have it very close to you the cost of this mic was about $65 and that was about a year and a half ago so if it's just out there, the quality is not that good and also it's too big and it's not wireless. So it's some other options out there that you probably want to consider. So let's move on. And the next equipment that I have is this Yobi Gorilla Pad. We bought this about a year and a half ago and the price on this was between $50 and $60. Don't quote me on the prices of some of these things because the, pre the prices may change because it was a year and a half ago and also I can exactly, I know about the price, but I can exactly, exactly remember how much it was. I think this was about between $50 and $60. And we still use this, it's depending on what you record, but you can use different ways that you can use this equipment. Also, if you like, even if you are, like if you're trying to get some different shots of different things, you can use it in different ways. This is a nice piece of equipment to have. You can use it a different way. Uh, let me put the camera on. Yeah, I will show you how you can use it. Like if you are out blogging and you want the hat, you can turn it all this way. Sometimes this thing come off and you can just attach it immediately. You can use it this way if you want to be blogging or if you just want to put it on the table. And that, it does that. It just come off and you just put it back on. But then if you just want to put it on your table for you to record, you just can sit it on the table as low as you want or as higher as, oh, as high as it goes, not what you want, but what it goes. <laughs> like this. So one thing that I forgot to mention about this camera when I was talking about it is that it does have a flip screen. That if you are blogging, but you want to see yourself, you can just pull it up. If you don't want to see yourself, just leave it like that. That is one thing that I like because I like to see myself when I'm talking. That way I see if I have something wrong, if I need to clip my face or anything like that. So that is one thing that I like about the camera. So let's move on to the next one. And the next piece of equipment that I have or I use is this hard drive. And these have a lot of terabytes. All the videos that I have recorded since 2018, they are all here in this piece of equipment. And the price, the price that we got that, it was between $150 and $200. And uh, like I said before, we have this hard drive since 2018. And I do have another hard drive, but I backed up all my videos in this hard drive right here. I recommend for people that want to do videos and blood to have an extra, um, extra hard drive to back up all their videos. So let's move on to the next equipment. So the next piece of equipment that I'm going to show is the 8 main action camera. We bought this camera to use it when we're out in places with water like beach, river, pool. Uh, you, see some, you may see some people using when they are uh, like driving cars or bicycles where they use it to get those uh, caption when they driving and the quality of this camera is a standard also the audio is a standard and it comes with this waterproof case and we bought this camera about a year ago 
And let's turn this camera on, unless that I have put it the wrong way. No, it's right here. Okay, right on. The camera is on. And the price of this camera was $60, and we bought this camera about a year ago. So let's move on to the next equipment. And the next piece of equipment that I'm gonna show you is this gimbal. This is my husband, baby. I don't know how to work this thing. He's learning how to work and <laughs> how to work it very well. And the name of this equipment is Seyon. I think that's how you pronounce the name. I don't even know. But this is when we need like a footage when we do uh, record properties. And the price of this was $400. And we recently got this before we came here to Dominican Republic. It is a great equipment because I saw it on the TV. I mean, on the TV, I saw how they show how it work. And you can do a lot of things with this equipment. We just haven't used it uh, yet. So it also comes with this handle that you just put it up here and that is just to, uh, this is just like a tripod where you can open it up if you need to use it this way. So one of these days we're going to show you how it actually works. So let's move on to the next one. And the next thing we're going to talk about is the equipment that we use for editing. And the first thing is this laptop, this MSI Raider. The cost of this laptop is about $800. And it was recommended because this computer is used mostly for people that work with gaming and is great for editing. What I use, this is the hard drive that I usually use for my recent video. So after I transport it, when we record it over here to this hard drive, and then after we work on it and release it, then we transfer it to the other external hard drive or just to have it over there safe. And the next thing is the SD port that we use to transfer from the camera to the computer, and we use this thing. I, I don't know the price of this, but this is highly expensive, so that you can find this very cheap. And this is the USB or port. You know that the computer usually just comes with one or two, so we have external because we usually have a lot of things plugging into it, so we have an external one. And this one is also highly expensive. You can find this very cheap. So since we're talking about what we use for editing, probably you wonder what kind of software we use. And uh, what we use is the Sony Vegas 18. And my husband loves that software. And we got that software for $299. We bought that software for that amount. So here we go. That's the software and the equipment that we use for editing. So let's move on to the next equipment. And the next thing that I'm gonna talk about is this mic. This is a Blue Jerry mic. Uh, we bought this mic with the purpose when I'm doing live stream. I know that I haven't done one in a while, very wild, wild, wild. But we bought this with the purpose of when I do that. And the price of this mic was $119. And we, this we didn't buy long, uh, too long ago. It's about, about two or three months that we bought this. This mic is supposed to have high quality. Uh, we haven't used it yet. You may see people they doing podcast, they do podcasts using this mic. We was thinking about it. We may do a podcast. If you have any idea, guys, shoot it out there. We would love to hear it. So let's move on to the next one. So the next piece of equipment that we have is this tripod. This was one of the first ones that we bought. We still use it. And it have a movable handle that you can uh, turn around the camera toward different areas. And you can open this right here. We also have another tripod that we are actually using at the moment to record this video that I'm gonna show you at the end, but we are still using this one too. And this one, like I said, we bought it about, about a year ago, and it was under $100. So here, there you have it. Another reason we stop using it because even if you lo lock it, the leg, they lazy. As you can see, it go down. So the best way that we use it is on the table. You just, you just lock it all up and we just use it at the table. And we just use it this way. It's great to use it that way. So let's move on to the next one. So now let's move on to the line. And this right here are three soft box lining. This is for soft lining and they Came, the three of them came together and the cost of this was about $125. And if you see this one right here is the one that we use like to, uh, to project down. And this other two is to project like to put it in front and to project the light in front of you. So these three right here, we use it when it's not that much light outside, but when you don't need that much light either. So those are soft light. And these two right here, the cost of these two was about 175 for both of them. 
And the good thing about this one is that you can use it for different, uh, for different levels of lighting. You can control it back here and it has different settings, as you can see. So you can get different levels. And here it tell you when you want less or when you want more lining, you just go up. And here is where you turn it on. And also use battery. And the battery, let me show you the batteries. This type of battery right here. And this is the charger, so you just plug it into, with the cable, you just plug it in, 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 the, in the plug to charge. If you don't want to charge it, because you can use, you can use it the both way. If you don't want to use it, plug it in on the thing, you want to use it like mobile, you just plug this and you put the charger and the charge comes separately. So we paid about $50 with the charger and the two battery. So if you don't want to use the cord, you just remove the cord and then add the battery and you can use your light. And if you don't want to use the battery, you just can plug it in and use it like a regular light. And this is a tripod that we were using, that we are using just now when we record. So this is the tripod that we are using. That is the one that we use at the moment because that one, you can see it hold well. It don't get lazy like the other one. So this is the one that we are using when we needed to stand up in the floor. Oh, in the ground. And this one as well is adjustable. I just don't want to move it a lot because I'm using it right now. I don't want to lose my position, but you can adjust it this way, up or down. Also this part, you can unscrew it and you can adjust it and put it higher or a little lower as, uh, as you need it. So let's move on to the next one, or I think it will be the last equipment and it is the camera that I use it right at the moment. So now we're gonna talk about the last piece of equipment that I have and it's the camera that I use for most of my video. As you can see now, I switch back to the Canon G7X and then you can see the quality, the difference of quality yourself and you can let me know what you, what you think about it. So this camera is the Canon EOS M50. And this camera costs about $700 and we got this camera about a year ago. So this camera comes with this lens right here, this cup wheel that you can just attach when you are gonna record. And this right here, if you can see this part right here, this don't come with it, this is this. I know it's a lot of people that ask me in my video, what is that, if it's a beeper or what I have on there, if that is a mic. So we bought this, but it has audio, but we like to buy extra audio to have better quality. So we bought this external mic and it comes with that. And the price for these mics are about $100. And it comes with both of them. And this is the charger for the camera. It also doesn't come with it. You have, and the price for the charger was about 50, about $50. And the battery, they are about between 15 and $20 a piece. And this extra lens that we bought right here is because it takes water shot. Like if you want to take shot where it takes more, more of the, back the background more than me, we use this lens right here. And this was about $200. So, yeah, this is the camera that I, that I use for most of my video and the one that I was using. And you can see, like I said before, that you can see that we switch just to record this part right here. So guys, these are most of the equipment that we actually use to record our videos. Uh, we have a few other items that we have in storage, but um, yeah, they are not here right now, so I'm not going to talk about them right now. Uh, yes, this is, I mean, you can see it's a lot and it's an investment. I mean, you can start like I did. I started with my phone and you can see the quality of those videos. Those are terrible, I know. <laughs> but if you want to start, anybody can start with your phone or anything that you have for record. But eventually, if you want to take it seriously and it's a business, you will have to invest in equipment and that costs money. So, yeah, that is all what I have for right now. But if you use any other type of equipment that is very good for you and that I can, that you think that I needed to use it for my videos, please leave a comment down below and I will really appreciate it. So that is what I have for right now. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and also share. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.